are we recording i think we are hello everybody welcome back to another video on my channel or welcome to your first video if you are new here i am izzy isabel may nails so today i'm going to be doing a empties video so i have used up a load of products and i want to show you and give you mini reviews of them if i've repurchased them if they're no good and they're rubbish and i don't recommend them so yeah i've been collecting these products for about probably between two weeks to a month and a half around that time a good month i've been collecting these products and my bag is full so without further ado let's get into the empties so first thing i've got is acetone i go through this stuff like water acetone is really important for me i use it to remove gel nails i use it well i rem use it for removal for everything so if i'm soaking off acrylics gel gel polish everything i use acetone for i also use acetone to dehydrate and prep the nails and wipe off of any dust before i go in with my polish or acrylic or anything like that this is a litre bottle and this is from salon systems which is here in the uk is a supply store for nail and beauty bit also want to quickly mention if i sound a bit manly it's because i've got a cold so do apologize for my voice so this is a litre bottle of acetone this is the biggest container that i found in my local supply store i am going to look online see if i can find like a four or five litre bottle because i go through this stuff so quickly so i have gone through about four bottles of these but i didn't keep them all because i don't have the space so yeah acetone oh look Here's another bottle of acetone I've put in my bag. This one's from Capital, and then this one is from Sally's. So, just different packaging, same thing. Can go in the bin now. What's next in my bag? Oh, okay. So, for those of you who's recently watched one of my live videos on Instagram, I quite often do live videos on my Instagram account, Isabel May Nails. So, if you want to see more videos from me, if you haven't seen enough of me from youtube then head on over to my instagram isabel may nails i've put my name up on screen now and i do live videos quite often so you can see more of me and more of my nails i was having some trouble with stamping not stamping but i was cleaning off the plates and i was getting lint and like fluffy bits everywhere and it's because i was using beans basically cotton wool balls i bought about three bags of these things a little while ago if you don't know what a cotton wool ball looks like this is what a cotton wool ball looks like it's just full fluff and fur yeah not a good idea to wipe your stamping plates off with this don't buy these i don't know what i was thinking i bought three bags of these johnson's baby cotton balls thinking it'd be a great idea to use these to clean off my stamping plates no it wasn't bad idea i'm not going to be rebuying these i'm going to stick to my lint free wipes that was a bad bad move on my part that can go in the bin next thing i have used is these they are the sinful 100 100 white buffing blocks pack of five this is what the packaging looks like and they come like this in a pack of five and they are just your standard white buffing blocks these are really cheap and inexpensive i think they're one pound fifty again i get these from my local supply store and um, sally's no I'm lying to you. I got these from Capital, which is another UK stockist supply store for getting all your beauty bits from. It's pack five, and I think they're about £1.50. That's before that. They're really cheap and inexpensive. I go through tons of these, but my favourite buffing blocks are definitely the ones from the Gel Bottom Ink or from Nail Harmony Gelish. They're my favourite. But if I haven't got any of those, if I've run out, I've got a supply of these backed up because, yeah, they do the job. They're okay. So I will repurchase these. Another thing I've used up is I bought these to give them a go. I'm always trying out new lint-free wipes. These are the Deco Disposable Lint-Free Perfect for Nail Art and Gel Nails, pack of 200. So they look like this. And the actual lint wipes look a little something like this. So they're quite thin and I won't be repurchasing these. The reason why I don't like these, they're too thin. They, when I pump on my pump bottle or put some liquid into it, it just all dribbles out. It doesn't hold liquid very well. And they're okay. There is definitely a little bit of lint in them. They're not 100% lint free. 
they're okay, but they didn't blow me away. Um, I won't be repurchasing those. Some more limp pads that I've gone through. I've gone through two packs of these beauty and skincare range nail wipes disposable. Pack of 200 limp free nail wipes. Professional use only. A full pack looks a little something like this. And they come in a square like most of these limp pads do. And they come like this. And then you can open them up like this and they open up really really big and they are not completely lint free they definitely have lint in them they're kind of like wet wipes but obviously not wet they are dry i find it's too much too much fabric so what i normally do is i cut them in half so i just take them and i cut them in half and then that makes it a little bit more money efficient if you're wanting to save money and they work really well like that if I've got some nail varnish stamping polish around the cuticle area and I want to clean it up a little bit I'll just get some acetone on this and wipe it around the cuticle area I don't use these for prepping the nails and wiping the natural nail plate because I find loads of little little bits of fluff just goes everywhere all over the nail yep these are good they do the job I don't mind them again I had about five packs of these stocked up I'm a little bit of a backup freak I like to have backups of everything so I never run out so I have about five packs of these and I think this is my last pack of them so once I've used these up I'm not going to be repurchasing these only because I found my favorite limp wipe so far so once I've used this pack up I'm not going to be repurchasing but they're okay but they do have a little bit of lint in them and I just thought I'd mention these are the limp pads that I love using they come in a roll and you just tear them off. They are completely limp free. I'm obsessed and I love them to bits and bobs. And they work really well once you finish your nails and you've applied your cuticle oil. You use these to buff the nails up to a really high shine. They work perfect. So next up we've got this. This is Nail and File Antiseptic Spray also from Salon Systems, which is from Capital. This is an antiseptic spray for spray on your client's hands before you start your treatment. And you can also disinfect your files between each client quickly by using the spray. This was okay, it smells hell of a lot like alcohol. If you get a waft of this in your face after you spray it, it's not pleasant. So I won't be repurchasing this. Next up, I've got some tools that I've destroyed in the past month. So I've got a pair of cuticle nippers. So the way I work my cuticle nippers is they start off for trimming off hangnails and things like that on actually use of on the nails when I'm prepping the nails. And then once they are dull, I then move them on to the next step where I use them for clipping. <laughs> If I'm making any sense, I start off by using these on the natural nails when I'm prepping to cut hangnail and things like that. Once they get too blunt, I then move them on to my crystal removal tools. So I'll then use these to clip off crystals when the clients come back for a redesign. And then once they've got too blunt for that, then they go in the bin. And these guys are definitely way too blunt. They don't even clip off crystals very well now. So they are in the bin. I've also gone through three nail clipper type things. I also use these for clipping crystals. And then also sometimes if I'm removing a set of really long extensions, I'll use these to nip the sides to cut the main length of the extension off and then file the rest down. So that's what I use these for. They are now blunt. So all three of them are going in the bin and I've got a load of new ones. So that's very exciting. But I like these because they're like petrol. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I have a huge bag full of gel polishes, stamping polishes that I've gone through. So I'll try and get through these quickly. The Gelish Top It Off Gel. I've got four bottles of these. I went through a hell of a lot of these guys. That used to be my go-to top coat but I found it stained quite badly, especially on the lighter gel colours. My clients would come back and whites would be kind of murky white, and I just wasn't happy, and you also have to cleanse off the inhibition layer with this. So I went through a good few of these guys, but I now have moved on and I use the Gel Bottle Link Extreme Shine Top Coat, and it's no wipe, and it is the best top coat. It's amazing, it's my new favourite. So I won't be repurchasing these. 
sticking to top coats i also have tried the premier gel top coat and this is their high shine no wipe top coat nothing bad to say about this it did the job worked really well it's similar to the extreme shine top coat from the gel bottle ink but i just prefer the gel bottle ink ones over this one i don't know why i just feel like it's 10 times more shinier so i have got another bottle of this which i will be using up but otherwise i won't be repurchasing this i will stick to my gel bottle ink top coat okay now on to base coats some of you may already know this if you stuck around on my channel and you watched some of my live videos on instagram my favorite base coat is the clear rubber base coat from the gel bottle ink i've gone through quite a few bottles of that because i use it all the time i only have two to show you because they are the two that I've kept. I go through these like water as well. I love them. Fabulous. A couple of gel colours that I've gone through in the past month or so are two Magpie gel colours. And they are Plain Jane and Black Betty, which is the white and the black gel polish from Magpie Beauty. They are hands down the best black and white gel polish I've tried and used. I've got a few others that I'm currently testing out, but these are my favourites at the moment. I also have have gone through one of these now this is the blue sky no wipe top coat i do not use this on clients i don't use it on myself this is purely for when i'm doing my nail swatch dip so when i'm painting all of these guys when i get all my new colors in i paint the color on two coats of color and then i use this as the top coat I don't like to use my top coat that I use on clients on my nail swatch sticks. I don't like to use it up. So I'd rather use the cheap one up on the nail swatch sticks. I don't use this on my clients, but I will keep repurchasing it for all of my nail swatch sticks. Another thing that I love and I go through a lot of is the gel bottle link builder in a bottle. I've got two of the number 18 color here and then one of the number one as well i love these guys i go through these so quickly i have a lot of clients that have a builder in a bottle overlay so i use these on a lot of my clients they're so good for helping your nails grow long and strong and healthy want to grow your natural nail out put a couple of coats of this on and then your gel polish they will be so strong it's just great i love this stuff i will constantly repurchase this this is a staple in my collection a must have i have backups and backups and backups of these guys oh i think the camera shut off no nope, it i've it's back on it's back on it's back on lastly well this isn't lastly i have run out of other things in the past month but i totally forgot that i was collecting them up for this video they have gone straight in the bin so i'm so sorry there was a few more items well there was quite a few more items that i'd gone through and used up but i just don't have to show you these are some stamping polishes so i've gone through one of the hit the bottle stamping polish in snowdin which is a white stamping polish i already have my backup up on my shelf ready to go so yeah i've used up one of these i love it and i will continue to repurchase it i love this white stamping polish it's perfect then i also have these two polishes now these are not stamping polishes but i did use them as a stamping polish these are the ps metals nail polish so here in the uk we have primark and i saw these metals nail varnishes in primark i think they were about one pound or one pound fifty and i thought i'd give them a go for stamping and they worked amazingly unfortunately they are discontinued now i believe i can't find them anywhere so that's a shame so i used them up i used the rose gold and the silver up they were great but i've currently now found a new favorite metallic stamping polish they are not actual stamping polishes but you can use them as stamping polishes because the formula is perfect these are the barry m liquid chrome nail paints and they are so good they have four colors these two here are razzle dazzle which is the pinky rose gold and then also rain on me which is the silver they also have a gold and a kind of navy blue silver as well in the collection they are amazing they work well but as i said they are not not specifically stamping polishes but they work so well for it another thing that i've gone through is my lint roll so i go through these guys so quickly i've got one of the ones where you keep the handle and then you just add a new roll on i use these for cleaning off my stampers when i'm doing stamping and nail art they're so handy you just get your stamper and then roll over it and it takes off any of the dust or excess polish and it preps your stamper perfectly so i've gone through a whole roll of these and i've nearly finished my second roll so i will have to be getting another roll of these and they're great they're perfect highly recommend these if you're a stamping addict and you don't really have one 
get one of these. Okay, so that's everything that I collected over the last month. There definitely were quite a few more bits that I've used up and have thrown out but I totally forgot to keep them to show you guys. If you enjoyed this empties and like mini review style video let me know in the comments below and I'll continue to collect up some more bits for another one in a couple of months time. Thank you so much for watching. I just want to say a massive massive thank you to everyone that subscribed and watches my videos. It means the world to me. I also want to say that I do read all of your comments and everything that you put in the comments on every video. I may not have time to reply to all of them, but I do my best to reply to most of the comments, but they are definitely not unnoticed. I read them all and I try and give them a little love heart, but yeah, it means the absolute world to me. The support you guys give me is just amazing. Thank you so, so much for watching again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!